Hello boys and girls, today we'll be learning how to multiply a two digit by one digit number. We will be learning how to do it the standard algorithm way and a partial product way. So let's get started. First, we're going to go ahead and multiply the standard way. We have the number 34 times 5. Step 1. We multiply the ones place, so the four times five. We know that four times five equals 20, but we don't just write 20. We put the zero in the ones place and carry the two in the tens place. Step two, we multiply the five and the three. Five times three, is 15. But don't forget, we carried the 2 in the tens place. So we have to add 15 plus 2 equals 17. We then bring down the 1 and the 7, and we have our 0. So the answer is 170. Now let's go ahead and multiply the same number, but using a different strategy. This is called the partial product. To multiply with a partial product, step one is to first break apart the two-digit number into tens and ones. So 34 equals 30 plus 4. Step two is to draw a rectangle like this. You're going to put a line in the middle. You're going to write 30 plus 4 times 5. So it's 34 multiplied by 5. So now we're going to go ahead and multiply 30 times 5. 30 times 5 is 150. Next, we're going to multiply 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. Then we're going to go ahead and add 150 plus 20. And it gives us the same answer, which is 170. Let's try some examples. Example number one, 28 times seven. The standard algorithm way we write 28 times seven. We go ahead and multiply eight times seven, which is 56. We have our six in the ones place and we carry the five in the tens place. We then multiply 7 times 2 is 14, plus 5 is 19. So our answer is 196. Now we're going to go ahead and multiply with the partial product. 28 is 20 plus 8 multiplied by 7. Right there. So first we're going to do 20 times 7 is 140. 8 times 7 is 56. We then add 140 plus 56. And the answer is 196. Example number 2. 40 times 2. We'll go ahead and line up our numbers and we'll multiply. Zero times two is zero, so no need to carry anything. Two times four is eight, so the answer is 80. Partial product. 40 has no one, so it's just 40 plus zero times two. 40 times two is 80. Zero times two is zero. 
So therefore, 80 plus 0 equals 80. Example number 3. 47 times 7. We go ahead and multiply the 1s. 7 times 7 is 49. We put the 9 at the bottom. We carry the 4. 7 times 4 is 28. And we add the 4. So 28 plus 4 is 32. So our answer is 329. Now let's go ahead and look at it using the partial product. 47 is 40 plus 7 times 7. So 40 times 7 is 280. 7 times 7 is 49. We then add 280 plus 49 gives us 329. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and try to solve 23 times 5. Go ahead and try to solve 34 times 6. Go ahead and try to solve 89 times 8. Here are the answers. 28 times 7 equals 196. 40 times 2 equals 80. 47 times 7 equals 329. 23 times 5 equals 115. 34 times 6 equals 204. And lastly, 89 times 9 equals 712. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.